Have you ever wondered how scrolling through your social media feeds impacts your mental health? In the space of a few short decades, social media has evolved from a novelty to a daily necessity. It's become a global phenomenon, a virtual town square where billions gather to share, to laugh, to learn and to engage. But as its influence grows, so do the concerns about its effects on our mental health. From Facebook to Instagram, Twitter to TikTok, social media platforms have undeniably altered the way we communicate and perceive the world. They've brought us closer, yet paradoxically, they've also created a sense of isolation and anxiety for many. This digital revolution, while advantageous in many ways, has sparked a crucial debate on its impact on our minds. Is it a boon or a bane? Does it make us feel connected or disconnected, happy or unhappy? In this video, we delve into scientific studies to explore the influence of social media on our minds. Scene script. Social media, believe it or not, does have its benefits. Diving into the sea of positivity, let's uncover the shining pearls of social media. A multitude of research studies have shed light on the positive aspects of social media, revealing a brighter side that is often overshadowed by its darker counterparts. One of the most significant benefits is increased connectivity. Social media platforms are like digital bridges connecting people from different corners of the globe. They provide a platform for individuals to interact with others, irrespective of geographical boundaries. This increased connectivity can lead to a greater sense of understanding, empathy and global awareness. It's like having a conversation with the world right at your fingertips. Moving on, social media allows for an unprecedented level of self-expression. It's as if everyone has been given a personal stage to showcase their talents, opinions and aspirations. This digital platform gives voice to the voiceless, enabling individuals to share their stories, express their thoughts and even spark social change. It's a canvas for creativity, a stage for self-expression and a platform for personal narratives. Moreover, social media can be an invaluable resource for mental health information. It's like a vast library brimming with resources, research and real-life stories about mental health. It has the potential to break down the walls of stigma surrounding mental health, fostering an environment of understanding and acceptance. It provides a platform where individuals can share their experiences, seek advice or simply find comfort in knowing they are not alone. It's a beacon of hope in the digital darkness. But of course, with every silver lining, there's a cloud. While these benefits are indeed noteworthy, it's important to approach social media with a sense of balance and caution. As we delve deeper into the world of social media, we must be cognizant of its potential drawbacks. While these benefits are significant, it's crucial to balance them with the potential drawbacks. Now let's turn to the darker side of the coin. Research in recent years has begun to unveil some of the potential negative impacts of social media on our mental health. It's like a siren song, luring us in with promises of connection and validation, only to leave some of us feeling more alone and anxious than before. One of the most significant findings is the link between social media use and depression. Studies have shown that individuals who spend more time on social media platforms often report higher levels of depressive symptoms. This could be due to the endless stream of perfectly curated lives we are exposed to, creating feelings of inadequacy and low self-esteem. Anxiety is another common issue with the constant need to check notifications and keep up with the latest posts, creating a sense of unease and worry. The fear of missing out or FOMO, as it is commonly known, can lead to compulsive checking of social media sites, increasing stress levels and reducing the quality of sleep. Loneliness, ironically, can also be amplified by social media. Despite being more connected than ever, many people still feel isolated and disconnected from their peers. This could be because the virtual interactions on social media don't provide the same emotional satisfaction as face-to-face -face interactions, or because seeing others socialize without us can make us feel excluded and alone. And let's not forget about the impact on body image. Social media is flooded with images of people with perfect bodies, flawless skin and glamorous lifestyles. This can lead to body dissatisfaction and unhealthy behaviours in an attempt to achieve the unattainable standards set by these images. It's important to remember that social media is just a tool and like any tool it can be used in ways that are helpful or harmful. It's not inherently bad but the way we use it can have a profound impact on our mental health. 
These studies show that overuse or misuse of social media can lead to serious mental health issues. Have you ever noticed how social media often turns into a comparison game? A seemingly innocent scroll through your feed can quickly become a self-evaluation session where you measure your life against those of others. But what is the psychological impact of this culture of comparison? Research has shown that the social comparison theory, originally proposed by psychologist Leon Festinger in the mid-20th century, is very much alive in today's digital world. This theory suggests that we have an innate drive to evaluate ourselves, often in comparison to others. Social media provides a ripe platform for this, offering a continuous stream of others' lives, achievements and experiences right at our fingertips. In the realm of social media, these comparisons often focus on the highlights of other people's lives. The vacations, the parties, the promotions, they rarely capture the mundane or challenging aspects of life. This skewed representation can create an illusion that everyone else is leading a more fulfilling, successful or happy life. So, what happens when we constantly compare our behind the scenes with everyone else's highlight reel? The answer unfortunately is not promising. These comparisons can lead to feelings of inadequacy and low self-esteem. You might start to doubt your own worth or feel like you're not doing enough. In more severe cases, this constant comparison can even contribute to the onset of depression. A study conducted by the University of Pennsylvania found that participants who limited their social media usage to 30 minutes per day felt significantly less depression and loneliness compared to a control group. This suggests that the more time we spend on these platforms, the more we expose ourselves to harmful comparisons. Now, this isn't to say that everyone who uses social media will experience these negative effects. Many people use these platforms without issue. But for others, the culture of comparison can be a dangerous trap, leading to a cycle of self-doubt and unhappiness. It's clear that the culture of comparison on social media is a significant culprit in its mental health impact. So how can we navigate this digital world without sacrificing our mental well-being? It's a question many of us are grappling with as we strive to strike a balance between staying connected and preserving our peace of mind. Psychologists have shared several strategies that can help us use social media more responsibly. Here are a few key ones to consider. Firstly, consider setting time limits on your social media use. It's easy to get lost in the endless scroll of feeds and updates. However, by setting boundaries, you can ensure that your digital interactions don't encroach on your real-world responsibilities or the precious time you should be spending with loved ones. There are even built-in features on many platforms and devices that can help you monitor and manage your screen time. Secondly, resist the urge to compare yourself to others. Remember, what you see on social media is often a carefully curated highlight reel, not a true reflection of someone's life. Instead of comparing, aim to appreciate the diversity and the uniqueness in each of us. Each person's journey is different and that's okay. The beauty of life lies in its variety, not in uniformity. Thirdly, if you find that social media is causing you significant distress, don't hesitate to seek professional help. Therapists and mental health professionals are equipped with the tools to help you navigate these challenges. They can provide strategies for managing anxiety, depression and other mental health issues that may be exacerbated by social media use. Finally, remember that it's okay to take a break. If you're feeling overwhelmed, it's perfectly fine to step back, log out and take some time for yourself. Your mental health should always be your priority. In conclusion, it's not about completely eliminating social media, it's about learning how to use it in a way that enhances your life rather than detracting from it. Remember, it's not about completely eliminating social media, but about using it in a way that promotes our mental health. So, what have we learned about the impact of social media on mental health? Well, it's clear that this digital frontier is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it can foster a sense of community, allowing us to connect with people from all walks of life and learn from their unique perspectives. It can be a source of inspiration, motivation, and even education. However, on the flip side, social media can also amplify feelings of inadequacy and insecurity. The constant barrage of picture-perfect lives can lead to unhealthy comparisons, fostering a sense of dissatisfaction with our own lives. It can trigger anxiety, depression, and even addictive behaviors. But the key takeaway here is not to demonize social media, 
but rather to underline the importance of mindful use. It's about setting boundaries, taking breaks, and remembering that what we see online is often a curated highlight reel, not an accurate representation of reality. While social media can be a powerful tool, it's important to use it mindfully to protect our mental health. Thanks for watching and remember to take care of your mind in this digital age.